it's pretty um, frantic here as we try and um, figure out exactly how big it is as quickly as we can. The Caribbean is one of the many hot zones monitored by scientists at the National Earthquake Information Center. So when the magnitude 7.7 .7 quake hit the Caribbean on Tuesday, they had to quickly identify the size, location, and the direction of what they call the fault rupture energy caused by the quake. A very large event um, that, that broke a, a length of fault about 150 to 200 kilometers long, so upwards of maybe 120 miles towards the Cayman Islands. Geophysicist Gavin Hayes says they were able to quickly determine that the Cayman Islands was to take the brunt of the shaking from that earthquake. That is why Jamaica and Cuba were spared major impacts. North America is moving in kind of this direction. Hayes says the Caribbean is prone to earthquakes because it is where two land masses called plates are coming together. The Convergence of North America with the Caribbean uh, happens at about two centimeters a year, so about half the rate that your fingernails grow. While that's not as fast as some of the more potent fault zones, the Caribbean is still capable of producing quakes in the magnitude 8 range. But that hasn't happened since 1946. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.